how do you think a majority of the public looks at you or like sees Madison Beer? Very misunderstood from what I really am. I think that's something I've like always known though. And it's really difficult. Um, my therapist even like had a whole talk with me once where she was like, I think one of the main reasons that you struggle sometimes with like your mental health or even just like your happiness is because you have this like Madison Beer person that it's not your fault because it's just like the music you've made, the image you put out, the way you carry yourself. Like you have this like confident kind of attitude about you, but like in reality, you're like a nerd who computer codes and edits her videos and like wears no makeup 90% of the time and like isn't, like they're just opposite people. And she explained to me that like psychologically, the number one way to make yourself like depressed and anxious is going against who you really are. Like if your main thing in life is I would never steal. Stealing is something I would never do. And you said to me, Madison, I wanna be depressed. How can I make myself depressed? I would say, go steal something. And you would be depressed and you would feel really anxious and you would feel really upset. So for me, the biggest thing in my life is staying true to myself. So I think that having having a lot of people like constantly misunderstand me is is difficult. Not that I think that everyone should like off the bat know me for who I am because it's hard to be completely authentically yourself, especially in my position, but it's tough for sure to be seen for things that I'm like, no, but that's not really what I value. Like I remember this, this guy came up to me one time and he, I was out at like a random restaurant. He walked up to me and he was like, hi, I just want to say, don't give a about you, don't care about your music, oh but you're the only girl I've ever seen who watches Bo Burnham, Nathan Fielder, and likes Rick and Morty. And I just want to say that I think you're dope and I really like you. And so I was you like, want that. Yeah. And I was like, that's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. And he was like, really? And I was like, yes, because you're seeing me for the things that I value. I value humor. I value like communication. Like the, these are the things that I actually, in my heart, value. So for me, for someone to see just that yeah. was really dope to me. Even though some people would probably be like, is that all you want to be seen for? No. Hmm. But that's like, to me, that's a that's that's seeing me from like my heart and my brain rather than just like the things that anyone could totally. see. You know, a song or a gossip story, whatever. Yeah, like Instagram followers, like sure, anyone can look at that and see. But like this fact that this dude really was like, oh, Madison Beer's cool because she likes the same things that I do. That was cool to me. I was like, thanks, dude. Rick and Morty fans stick together. Yeah. How do you think most people see you then? Uh, I think most people probably just see me as like opposite of what I am. They probably see me as some like very shallow. <laughs> vapid girl like who doesn't really creatively do things or like has a brain of her own because i mean i would probably look at me like that if i didn't know me too so how do you change it with my music over time i i also don't really care as much as i feel like i'm making it out to be like i don't every day isn't like i'm trying to prove myself to people it's more so like i'm hoping that with this album with this new music people are gonna finally see like the side of me that i want to be seen